Hello everybody and welcome to the video. I am Morgul and I'm playing Rift. Um, today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Uh, we are going to go... I'm going to talk about my first dungeon... Well, not dungeon. My first expert experience, which was basically my second dungeon experience ever. So we are going to go to the Archive of Flesh. I don't think this was the first dungeon ever, th uh, the first expert I did, but it's the first one I remember doing um it was with one of my one of my friends in korea uh we i was still in korea and so was he and we um basically he had told me like hey you know if you want to if you want to raid with us uh, if you want to join our guild blah 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 basically this is the guild i'm in right now i'm pretty much the sole uh the sole member there's like another guy that recently joined, but basically we're super casual and I'm not even raiding anymore, except for like LFR every once in a while and daily raid rifts and stuff like that. Like I don't raid seriously anymore, but basically, so this dungeon archive of flesh was absolutely nuts for me because it was an expert, right? I had never done even the normal version and Basically, I was thrown off the deep end by my friend who was just like, I'm not doing a normal. You're going to learn how to do experts. If you want to join my guild, you're going to do experts. I mean, Decimation, this guild I'm in, uh, Decimation was a semi-hardcore guild. So, like, this guy was basically like, hey, I'm going to shape you into, <laughs> into a raider. And I, yeah, it was a very, um, a very bad first like, I don't think it was my first dungeon, my first expert, but it was the one I remember the most because it was insane. And I'll show you why, okay? Because uh, I don't know if you know Archive of Flesh. I don't know if you've ever ran it, but it's, uh, it was hardcore back then for me, for a noob. <laughs> oh, hey, I can't mount. All right, there you go. Whatever. I should have gone into Paragon so I can run. Ay, ay, ay. Back in the day, if you had run to this place, which you had to if you wanted to go to um, Endless Eclipse, to the Regulus Raid, if you wanted to, to go to that one, you had to run through all this shit. And it was pretty... It hit hard back in the day. But anyways, I'm going to show you the Archive of Flesh. This little dungeon right here go to this place archive of flesh so i'm gonna go um i'm gonna go rift blade because back in the day all right so back in the day i only he had told me how to play rift blade uh before that i used to play like this weird no actually i pl at that point i was still playing this weird mixture of uh like Paladin slash Paragon slash something else. I don't remember. But basically, like, I kept ripping aggro off of him. It was so bad. So I don't remember what you need to do here. But basically, like, he didn't really tell me what to do. He just, like, the, the door opened and I was like, uh, what do I do? And then we were, at that point, we were still just um, writing in whispers to each other. And he just told me, like, okay... Uh, just follow me. Oh, hello. And, like, this happens, and I'm just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know? And then this guy. Obviously, obviously, I fucking died to him. <laughs> uh, fucking uselessly. So, he's just, like, inching through here. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? I died so much in this place, it's not even funny. So, yeah, this, and then he's walking slowly like a fucking retard, like a fucking asshole, not retard, asshole. So, and then you need to do three guys. So kill three guys and his pack of assholes and you're good to go, right? Oh no, you need to do one more. Okay, four. Oh, great. So he turns back around, and you have to avoid the shit out of him, because he will one-shot you. 
I don't know if he will at 70 for me, but all I know is back in the day at fucking 60, I was a fucking noob, and he one one shots you, man. One shots. So you need to avoid the shit out of him. And I didn't know that. So I I think at that point when I had died at least once, he just told me, like, wait here. <laughs> just wait here while everybody else does the rest of the work. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so up we go up we go cause, cause the guy disappeared right so that's when you know okay you can go upstairs yay and then he's upstairs waiting for you fucking asshole waits for you right here right there you see him you see him fucker so I think yeah I died at every boss it's not even funny so He's here, he's tanking, and he pulls it. And the thing is, with this with this boss, is that you see how there's, like, the weird um, red thing? So what happens is... Oh, I need to interrupt that. Right? So it keeps on breaking. The walls, the, the windows, or whatever you want to call them, the windows keep on breaking. Bones thrown at you. And, yeah... I think at that point, what you needed to do is every time the walls would explode here, you had to drive him to the other side. Here. Drive him to the other side. And then at one point, he had like a um, an AoE that you needed to run out of. So you would run out through uh, in the middle of the bridge and wait until, it, until he explodes. Yeah, that was not an easy one. But I think the most difficult one... Um, this was a difficult one. Oh yeah, there's the fucking gauntlet here. Yeah. I had no idea what was going on here. No idea whatsoever. But I just like... He, he just told me like, okay, just DPS. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? I, I'm telling you, like, I was a really noobish of the noobs. Because, well, this was my first video game to begin with. And then he's just telling, like very barely telling me what to do and yeah this was not fun i'm pretty sure the other people in the group with us they possibly whispered him and said like hey can we kick this person they probably like initiated a bunch of kicks and he would refuse which i mean i'll give him that i'll give him that like he was nice enough not to fucking kick me <laughs> even though i sucked I mean, as I said, this was a very, uh, like, semi-hardcore guild. So, I mean, for him, he wouldn't have accepted like something like this from one of his, like, raiders. But from somebody like me, noob, doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah, he accepted it. So then here, okay, so this boss, there's a lot of green AoE and there's a lot of, like, clicking shiny things and stuff like that. So I fucking sucked at this, and obviously I died. Obviously. He didn't fucking tell me what to do! <laughs> but anyways, so here I fucking died. Like, basically not knowing that, hey, green shit, avoid the shit out of it. Yes. That was not fun. So then you go around. But this wasn't the worst boss, I'll tell you what. This was not the first, the, the, the worst boss of all. Uh, what's next? Her? No. Who's next again? Uh, I forgot. Oh, okay, it's the yellow. Uh, I mean, the white. The white light. Okay. Another gauntlet, basically. This dungeon had a lot of gauntlets, a lot of, like, what the fuck do I do moments for me. So, basically, for this part, you have to stand in the white lights. That's it. You cannot stand out. So then this lights up, and everybody has to go with the tank here. And then another light lights up. We we all go there. And then shit happens. Fucking gauntlet. Yay. And hello? Another light. No? Yeah. Another light. Yay. I'm fucking... Alright, and then somebody goes here to click it. Usually the tank. And 
And then you go here. Oh, hello. Yeah, so obviously, like, I didn't know what to do. It was a lot of, a lot to take in. I possibly died here because I didn't know what to do. So basically, this part is like, okay, so stand in the white lights and then click on the shinies. That's it. Oh, hello. Make friends. Wait for the light on that yellow, on that shiny, right? Yes. Go here, and it's over, right? Yeah, it's over. And then this boss, okay? So this boss is when I died horribly, and then my friend, and then my friend was like, you know what? Let's let's hop on Skype. <laughs> So, because I kept, I kept dying, I kept uh, ripping aggro off of him, and he told me, do not use that, that ability, whatever it was, I forget, do not use that ability, um, and basically he instructed me on what to do on Skype for this boss, because this boss is insane, okay, you have to know where to stand, so I'll, I'll actually not hit her, so we can... You you can see all the uh, the stuff that happens with her. So if you're standing in melee, which I was, you have to avoid those bubbles. I didn't <laughs> the first time, anyways. Okay, and then javelin barrage. You have to hop off of that. Oops. You have to hop onto one of these. Flood the halls. Get out of there. Okay, you have to be on a pedestal. And then like javelin thrusts and uh, she kills one of these things I have to get off of that because she's going to rip it apart right no okay so bubbles avoid the shit out of that javelin barrage javelin barrage flood the halls stand on one of these things Whee! aquatic evocation so this is when the things disappear. So they're basically there's like a timer on this on this boss, right? And you have to know like for this you have to stand on right on top of her if you're melee. And javelin barrage. This was a really good boss. Like I, I really actually liked this um, this boss. Once I once I knew what to do, okay. I remember one time I basically soloed this boss by myself as a tank, because like people in my in my group as I was tanking, people in my group didn't know what to do, and I was like, "Oh my god, thank you, friend. You taught me how to do this how to do this dungeon correctly." I was great. After I knew what to do, I was great at it. So, anyways, uh oh, oh. oof. Yay! And then you go back on top, right? I don't remember. E What's this yellow thing? I guess we'll figure it out. Yeah, okay, so this is another gauntlet here. Mobs and stuff. And these guys, okay, they fucking knock you back. Crazy. You'll see. Whee! Burst. Unreal burst. <laughs> and then these guys. Right? So, unreal burst. If you're tanking, I'm not going to hit him much, okay? So, if you're tanking, you basically knocked off, knocked, we knocked back a lot. And imagine if you have eight of these guys and they all do unreal burst at different times. Yeah. It's fucking insane. We. So, basically, tanks would just stand here. And tank it. Anyways. we. It was kind of uncomfortable as a tank to to, to, to tank these guys. Because you're just like knocked off all over the place. Alright, so this boss was also difficult because... I'll show you. This boss was also difficult for noob me. Because he just like puts out a lot of areas where you cannot stand. Right? Reform anatomy. Ooh, dot. So this fish area, you need to stand out of that. 
And then there's like all these yellow bits and pieces, doodads. So it's fissure, you need to stand the fuck out of that. Reform anatomy, dot. And fissure, stand out of it. Alright. I'm just gonna let my avatar kill him, I think. Whoops. Fissure. Stand out. Reshape. Blah de blah. You you can die. Uh oh. <laughs> and he slows you too, you know? Reform slows you. Yeah, at least uh Great. Right, so he's pretty difficult and like for some for somebody like me who didn't know what she was doing, it was fucking weird to do this boss. It was very difficult. Very. Because I think uh the number of white thingies, it changes according to how many people are in the group. Anyways, we'll kill him. Oh, I got a new thing. What's that? What's that? I've had this before. Oh, uh, it's probably, um, you know what's going on is that the wardrobe, uh, wardrobe, uh, what do you call it? Unlocking started after. Was it after Storm Legion? I think so. And last boss, also a difficult one. Okay, so he really needed to be on Skype to tell me what to do because I had no idea. So this boss, Morphic Wave. You needed to like interrupt these because after a while they just get too much. Right, so this boss. Oh, yeah, if you're a bunch of people, then you puking shit out, you needed to, like, turn away from your group, basically. Mutation. Morphic wave. Drastic, you needed to stand in that, in that purple circle, otherwise you died. Mutilation. And then at some point, he teleports you into another room. So if you're in a group, you have to like puke away from people. <laughs> and also these things, uh, the puking actually kills uh, the mobs too, I think, if I remember correctly. You needed to stand out of that white shit. Genetic alteration, puke out. Puke kills, yay. Oh shit, I should have puked on those. Purple, stand in. Like there was a lot for, for a noob to consider. I had no idea what I was doing. Really. No. And natural selection. Is this the one where he... Yeah. So you stand in the, to another room. You need to avoid shit. So you stand here. I'm probably going to be... um. It's probably going to reset, actually. Because I'm not... Like, there's nobody fighting him. Stand here. I don't know what's going to happen. I might... It might reset. Okay, since we're done, you can go back into the room. And then where's the boss? Oh, he reset. Okay, so anyways, I showed you what happens with this boss. And it was a free for fucking all, man. It was crazy. This is the last boss, by the way. He was tough. Yay. So that's that. That was my first dungeon experience. And let me tell you, like... There was so much to consider. It was so weird. I had no idea what I was getting into. And frankly, like, I kind of resent my friend for bringing me into an expert to begin with. Like, my first, my second dungeon experience to begin with. And it was an expert. And I was not prepared for it. I had never done even the normal versions of the version of this dungeon. Uh, I think afterwards... Um, I think afterwards we did um, Storm Legion Expert. So we probably did Stormbreaker Protocol. I remember doing that with them. The first uh, the first 
like the first time we did dungeons together like it was three dungeons i think that we did we did stormbreaker um i think it was tower of the shattered as well so basically this one this dungeon oh maybe exodus as well so four so four dungeons that we did or five actually because i think he was like um he was getting rid of his um of his charges which you get five charges of dungeons for for or seven maybe seven I don't remember but all I remember is that like we did a whole bunch of dungeons just to get rid of his charges I think it was five and um so basically like we're doing like Stormbreaker Tower of the Shattered um maybe Exodus as well and then this one Archive of Flesh um, Empyrean Core did not exist yet. I think we might have done Golem Foundry as well. And Realm of Twisted Dreams did not exist yet either. So a whole bunch of dungeons, just like me freaking out and him like on Skype to tell me what to do. I cannot tell you how tight my buttocks were <laughs> that night. The second time my buttocks were that tight was the first time I was asked to heal a raid, okay? It was bad. And the third time my buttocks were that tight was when I was asked to fucking puree um I, I had a cleric alt so we were doing like an alt run with my guild and i was asked to fucking puree no i think it wasn't it wasn't an alt run it might have been like a main run and then i had done already that raid so they asked me like to get onto my alt so i could fucking puree and it was a night oh my god the the raid was frozen tempest and we were on the, uh, what's the boss? <sighs> Fuck, what's the boss? What's the boss? Let me see. So raids, Storm Legion, Frozen Tempest. Um, was it Zavul? No. Yes, I think it was Zavul. Galadra? Oh God, what's her, what's her fucking name? Wait. It might have been Zavul. So Zavul, because Galadra is the first boss. So Zavul, which is the second boss, I believe. And so Zavul is the one where you had you where you have to at one point like phase two or three. I I don't remember, but phase two or three, you have to like go around the room and it, and avoid her um her ground AOE. And uh, so basically everybody fucking died and I was the only one alive to heal the tank. Him, by the way, my friend. And it was like, are you for fucking real, man? This like, I was pissed off at everybody because they were like fucking just messing around. And I'm just like, guys, I don't even know how to fucking heal as a Puri. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that's it for this dungeon. I just wanted to like show you uh to tell you about my first time uh doing a expert in Storm Legion. It was nuts, okay? <laughs> Moral of the story. Fucking nuts. So I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.